Oh yeah, it's your boy Keenan. Just felt like cooking. It's Sunday. Straight WWE pay-per-view. I think we got Hell in a Cell happening. So check this out. You know, everybody posting burger videos and all that. I'm about to do mine. Check out what I got. Alright, so what I got going here, I got some straight chuck steaks. And you like, you know, how you gonna make burgers out of this? What you gonna make? Steak burgers? Yeah, damn right. I'm gonna go ahead and grind it up with my little grinder here. Yeah. Yeah, we used it before, previous video when I did the pork burgers, and now we're going to do some straight beef chuck steak burgers. Boneless, nice marbleization all in there. So I'm going to get this grinded up, get it seasoned, let it sit, and we're going to throw them on the grill. So we got this grinding, got a little, little set back that we worked through. So this is the finished product. Nice little grind. Not a burger grind. I think this is like a chili grind. One up, one step above. But we're gonna form this into some nice patties. Got nice fat in there. Nice good pieces of chuck steak. Uh, I just ground the whole thing up. Broke down the uh, grinder. Got it in the sink. Get that washed up while this meat's sitting. So what I'm gonna season it with, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt. We got some black pepper, some chili powder, of course you got to have the onion powder, some of that Goya, and then I'm going to get some herbage in there with some parsley. So I would think about, you know, about a quarter of a teaspoon of each, um, just to balance it out. We don't want to mask the flavor of the beef. We do want a burger. And we don't want to put too much in it because we're making burgers, not meatloaf. I'm going to get this seasoned up, I'm going to wrap it, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit for a minute, get this grill ready, and get these bad boys on some fire. Alright, so we got a little smoke action, same setup, uh, Jim Beans bourbon oak barrel chips, coil, soaked them in some water because it's been real uh, dry and hot here, and we're dealing with these Santa Anas, so it's going to be even drier. So I soaked these bad boys up so they just wouldn't catch on fire. But uh, let's get some burgers loaded up. Check that out. I made a couple little links just because. So I put these suckers in the, in the freezer. I mean, not the freezer, the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Just to stiffen them up. I'm going to throw that on there. That's going to be the sample piece that we're going to eat on. Nice meaty burgers. Home grind. Chuck. Ground up the chuck steak myself. Uh, yeah. It came out good. I think that's like a chili grind. So I didn't do a ground beef grind. I wanted it kind of meaty. So I'm going to cover these bad boys up. We're going to babysit them. I'll show you what they look like after I flip. Wow, so what you, you're just down here tagging, huh? My daughter, 
keeping me company. She got Sunday hair, so she probably don't want to be on camera. Uh, yeah, the kids is on vacation. Fall break, which doesn't make sense to me, but hey, whatever. <clears throat> so it's been a couple seconds. And we on direct heat, so I'm definitely be babysitting these bad boys. So they're going along fine. A lot of fat in there, so of course you got to watch flare-ups. Use your common sense to avoid catastrophes. So I'm going to let these smolder a little bit. Let them smoke up. We're going to get them flipped. We're going to try to, you know, flip them once or twice. And then uh, I'm going to get them in a the pan and wrap them. And probably finish them in the oven. But I want to get that nice smoky grill taste on them. I don't know, that's just an option. You could do that if you're in the bind. You know, you get your smoke. You know, even if it's about to rain, you go ahead and grill it up real quick. Bam, get your smoke flavor, finishing off in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish babysitting these bad boys. And I'm going to flip them when we're going to check them out. So I flipped these jokers. Um, maybe it's a little too prematurely. But uh, I wanted to see what they was working with. So I'm going to cover these bad boys up, let them go. Uh, a couple of these suckers, I'm going to base with some of that boysenberry barbecue sauce. So I'm going to wrap everything up and let you know I'm going to put it together for this Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. I'm going to watch, uh, probably also watching these games. Uh, I had a little piece of meat fall off, and it is down there burning. It actually smells good, but, you know, that's this. Hey, trial and error. This is actually my first time even doing this. I'm going to be honest. Uh, usually, you know, we already got some patties already made or some ground beef already ground. You definitely notice the difference when you grind your own meat. Uh, you know what meat it is. It's not 500 cows mixed together. So hopefully that steak was from one cow. So I'm going to get these covered, let that smoke flavor penetrate it, and uh, wrap it up. So there's a little update. <clears throat> Bad boys is going along fine. Um, I noticed a lot of grease buildup down there, so you gotta watch that. Um, especially if you got it covered and then you pull the lid off, you get that rush of oxygen in there. That definitely could start a fire. But I believe this little opening back here where the coil goes into, you know, that helps with a nice little airflow when the lid is on. So we're gonna finish these up. Uh, I'm gonna get the last couple on here. The last few on here, I'm gonna actually base with the um, with the boysenberry barbecue sauce I got from uh, Knox Berry Farm. Um, that stuff is good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheese these bad boys with some American cheese, and these are my sample pieces to see how it, you know, how the meat tastes. I'm sure it's gonna taste good. I ain't worried about that. So I'm gonna continue to grill these up. Let you see the last couple of. Uh, Few burgers I throw in there after I baste them when I'm basting them and uh, we're gonna get ready for this uh, for this pay-per-view yeah it's your boy Keenan just felt like cooking yesterday we just felt like eating so yeah we went to this one spot I'll probably post a little video on that got a little couple clips uh, this place called the ice box uh, pretty good pretty good definitely want to go back all right back in a minute So I was out of American cheese, so I topped these bad boys with a good hand size full of some uh, shredded cheddar. I'm going to get ready to pull these burgers, pull these little links I made up, load up these other last, I think it's like four more left. I got about like eight burgers out of all the steaks I ground up. I'm going to load those bad boys up, get them going, get them to where right before I pull them, I'm going to base them with that boysenberry barbecue sauce. In the meantime, I'm going to be watching off this kickoff show. But check out these burgers. So, yeah. Yeah. These, these are coming along fine. As you can see, the cheddar is on there. You know, that's getting nice and gooey. Um, that one, I didn't put nothing on it. In case somebody might not want no cheese. These, these are coming along fine. Um, those are going to be the sample pieces. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's going to be one good, one good sample. So I'm going to cover this back up and let this cheese finish melting. And um, get these bad boys in the house. And get these other ones loaded up.
Boy, look at that. Fresh ground chuck steak burgers. Boy. Keenan. Just felt like cooking. So we had a change of plans here. I had to kill the heat because of the high fat content in them steaks. The, uh, as you can see, all that grease. Yeah, that almost ignited. So I killed the heat and I just got the burgers cooking on the residual heat in here. Um, I'm gonna let them get that nice good smoke flavor. They still get, they still got a lot of nice uh, flavor from them. Jim beans, bourbon, oak barrel chips. But uh, I'm just gonna finish these bad boys off in the oven. Uh, I'm gonna still baste them with the boysenberry barbecue sauce. Probably put a couple layers on there just to get it uh, nice and sticky on top of that burger. All right, back in a minute. So like I said earlier, I finished these bad boys off in the oven. Had a little mishap out there. Too much grease built up in the bottom of the smoker. And I uh, almost started to say it's grease fire. These are the ones I basted with the uh, boys and barbecue sauce from Knox. Of course, those are the ones that I cheesed earlier. And then I left a couple of them plain. And this is my little link that I did just to sample everything. Uh, pretty good. As you can see, the juice in there. Look at that. That is juicy. Alright, so I got my bread toasting. That's right, square bread. Got some square wheat bread happening here. I'm going to put together a nice, good, old school ghetto sandwich. Alright, so as I chase the kids off, check out how I put this sandwich together. I chose to use one of the burgers with the uh, boysenberry barbecue sauce. I got some regular square bread. That's how I like to do it. Uh, I got some uh, bib lettuce. I think butter lettuce and some uh, baby spinach with some of these pickles that my wife made same pickles that we had with the uh, pork burger recipe had a few left over and then bad boy just got better as we let them sit so I'm gonna go ahead and place this on here like that look at that boy that bad boy is glistening let me wash my hands real quick and check out my topper here's the topper baby a nice seasoned fried egg cooked like medium drop that in the sink we're gonna adjust that just like that we're gonna to top it just like that and bring it over look at that that is that is amazing right there all right let's take a bite all right let's get a bite of this bad boy fresh ground chuck grilled up basted with some uh boysenberry barbecue sauce we got the butter lettuce we got the spinach we got the homemade pickles and we got the fried egg on there mm. on some toasted wheat bread buddy so let's, let's get that going. We got a little slippage, but it's all right. This is the home burger. This, this ain't nothing, you know. This is what we do at home. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Burger's juicy. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. That was a big bite. The pickle cut through the fat of the burger. We needed that. We got that egg cooked to medium. You know, you do some of these that make you jingle. I don't need to say no names. You know what time it is. So this is your boy named Keenan. Grease your lips and all. Just felt like cooking. Fresh ground chuck burgers. Grilled up. Ready to get ready to watch this wrestling pay-per-view. One.